My dad got into the business in South Africa, which is where we're originally from. His father had a mattress business. He bought a factory that was making stuffed dolls, animals, pillows. He was an entrepreneur and he soon involved that into a mattress business. I really enjoyed and was kind of brought up in the business from the age of 10. We've always had the philosophy of being a low-cost producer, not a low-end producer, a low-cost producer, and out-servicing our competitors. In 1973, made the decision that uh, the U.S. was was a good market to come to and uh, in the right place to probably bring my brother and I up. So he bought a small business in Miami and uh, started International Betting, which is our prior company. This is third generation business for us, and uh, we kind of grew up in the mattress business. I used to hear the phone calls or run around the uh, factory as a kid. I was very uh, aware that that's the business we were in, manufacturing mattresses. <laughs> you know, after kind of growing up symbiotically and listening to the phone conversations, uh, after a couple of years of college, I, I said, you know what, that's what I'm going to do. It's the best opportunity for me. And then I also did some summer interns, uh, ships, and then finally uh, began official work at, in 1991. Uh, the family thing is, is very good for us. I know it can be tricky for others, but we seem to work really well together. Uh, my brother and I have some different talents and we, we seem to really know where our expertise lie. The areas of the business I liked were the creative and sales end. I like dealing with people, I like the marketing, I like the merchandising. So I kind of slowly became the, uh, the outside relations guy. Mine would be more of the operations, behind the scene type stuff, getting the factories going, keeping the people motivated and in a lot of ways bridging the gap between sales and operations. And my dad has really taught us everything he knows and he's probably the best sales guy we've ever had or I've ever seen. There's no uh, gamesmanship. I mean, he tells you the way it is and that's the way. It is. You may not want to hear it all the time, but it is what it is. There's no, uh, no hidden secrets. Um, it's a pretty open book approach to life and to the mattress business. A lot of the brands that were our, technically our competition spend a lot of money in areas other than making a mattress and putting the, the, their money into the mattress. We were able to step back and take a view from above, not being in the mattress business for a few years. And we got a really high 50,000 foot view of what was going on in the industry. We saw a huge void and we saw major opportunities presenting themselves. Most of our competitors highly leveraged bank owned companies uh, that were really being run simply by balance sheet and financial statement. And here we were a family business that could become a national provider of high quality products. From the manufacturing side, there was no one highly automated. Uh, we had a blank slate, which was fantastic. We started our, uh, developed our plans from scratch, buying this uh, high tech equipment, which has reduced our labor you know, by 40% and increase the quality of the product, consistency. So a two-prong approach, saw the hole in the marketplace and saw the opportunity on the manufacturing side and came back under those notions. Our typical footprint's about 100,000 feet, uh, rectangular in shape, open building, ideally fairly high ceilings. We've designed the factories for the most efficient flow and, um, and put the latest and greatest in machinery in each of these factories. We like to operate in markets that from a freight distribution standpoint, cover a lot of ground and allow us to cover a, a good portion of the country as effectively as possible. We opened our first factory in 2010 in Phoenix, Arizona. We've then since opened uh, our Orlando factory about a year ago, uh, which has done tremendously. And now Dallas has opened in the last couple months and all factories are running on all 12 cylinders. I think our company is, uh, we've built relationships now where we have, a, we have a certain personality and who we are in the industry. We treat the customers uh, like they're uh, part of the family and we don't really hold anything back. That's what's created some of these very deep long-term relationships that we currently have today. The Sherwood brand and my dad are similar in a lot of senses. Sherwood really kind of, in my mind, stands for the, his core values, which are you know, offering the customer the highest quality product for the, the, the best price. 
the philosophy is the same as it was 50 years ago. I mean, nothing's changed. You've got to have an innovative product, you've got to have an edge, you've got to give great service, and you've got to make quality, and you should win in the long run. There's a spirit in our company that doesn't exist with our competitors. It's an entrepreneurial type of spirit. It's an energy, it's excitement. Our people are happy to be here. I'm just very proud of the job that uh, Neil, Lance, Eric, Lisa, and the whole team have done. The bottom line is not as important as the success of the business and seeing the products all over the country selling. It's real gratifying for me.